everyone and welcome to this learning resource which is based on workshops I've been presenting since about 2010 based on designing posters for academic and professional conferences. My name is David Evans and I'm Professor in Sexualities and Genders, Health and Wellbeing. Just in case you're wondering how I got into a conference poster presentation design in the first place, it started back when I was doing my own doctoral studies. Uh, when I was doing that programme, once every term, we used to have an EDD, a doctoral weekend. And if we weren't presenting individually, then we were expected to at least uh, demonstrate a poster. And that's how this all started. Because some of the other students on the course happened to be teachers of school children, and some of them are quite small children. So we all used to have to design posters and um, coming from a nursing background, I'd seen really good quality posters at various conferences I'd been to. But when I saw some of the uh, posters that uh, my teaching school teaching colleagues would bring along and um, they used to make me cringe. Please don't tell them I'm saying that, but I used to actually cringe. And that was because um, some of them had never seen the academic or professional conference posters that we were all used to as healthcare professionals. And therefore they might bring in just a big flip chart of um, paper and maybe they'd stuck pictures on there or A4 sheets of paper with different images on. They'd stick it on with tape or blue tack. And uh, that's what used to make me cringe because I used to think, well, you could never go to an academic or professional conference and present things like this. So in 2009, I was asked to design a course called Contemporary Issues in Sexual Health. And that was for online students. And when I was designing the assignment for that, I thought, right, these are master's level students. They should be able to go out and disseminate their research or their learning to others. And therefore, they do need the skills in learning how to develop really good quality posters. And that's what I set as the assignment. So it was to design a poster for an academic or professional conference, or some of them actually chose their their own service areas to design posters for. And they had to write an extended abstract of 1500 words uh, to accompany this. And that's how it all started. And when I went and showed the posters uh, at the first exam board, so many of my colleagues were saying that these were really excellent examples of what should be done. And therefore, could I teach this on their course? And this has developed more and more over the years now. And sometimes I'm teaching this in classes of 250 to 300 students at a time. So on some of the courses, these students are learning how to design posters by themselves, just one off, one person per poster. And in some of the undergraduate courses, especially for nursing and midwifery, they may be doing this as a group event. And that's really good as well, because it's teaching them collaboration and sharing in their learning processes. So whether they're doing it as individuals or as groups, they have to produce um, uh, posters suitable for academic or professional conferences. And I can tell you over the years, I've probably had um, well, a good couple of thousand students doing this now. You should see me running up and down the lecture hall with 300 students in, trying to go and see every group and to, to, to look at the amazing work they're developing. And then when they present them back to us, we normally pin the posters up on, on the walls and then uh, teachers will go around each group to assess them and it gives each individual member of the group to do a little bit of a presentation on different aspects of their poster development. So, work through the rest of this um, Adobe Spark learning resource and you'll see that there are videos on here on uh, considering key elements of good poster design, as well as little videos on here showing you how to actually design posters using uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So I hope you have fun in doing this and I hope that the end product is really well worth all your effort. And it would be great if you took photos of yourselves, uh, stand by your posters, take pictures of them and tweet me. Uh, feel free to do that because I'd love to see what you're developing. Enjoy this uh, resource. Music